Hi guys, Kevin Muldoon here, and I've got another USB multimeter. This will help test your devices, and as you can see, there was nothing really in the package. There's no instructions, there's nothing. This is from a company called iPhone for You. I've reviewed a couple of the products. The first one got a good review, the second one got a really bad review. That was a car charger. But this looks pretty good. It's a you can see it's a kind of like generic model. And the model number is KCX-17. And you can see in the back it's got the input, the output, and the capacity. Now the previous one that I tested was this. This is one that I've been using a long time, so I want to give this one a try. Prices change all the time, but it currently retails on Amazon for £7.99 in the UK, and I believe it is $8.99 in the USA. So, you can see right away the main difference between this one and the other one I've got, um, from a design point of view, is the fact this has got a short USB cable here. This one doesn't have that. Now, whether that is a good thing or a bad thing depends on how you're going to use the device. First thing you can see is that this screen, I would say, is better than the one I was using previously. Now, I'll just quickly put this in to show you what I mean. And this one uses green, and there's a lot more data, and because of that, you know, there's a lot more information to digest, which means that the writing's a little bit smaller. This one doesn't display as much information, but I, th I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. If you just want to quickly check how much you know volts or uh, how much current has been taken from a device, then you might find this one better. It's worth noting as well, this one's a little bit more expensive, so you know, generally speaking, with most tech, you get the more you pay, the more you get. So I'm just going to quickly test this. Well, this. Anchor power bank charging my phone, and you can see here. Um, if I'm getting focus, that's it. So it's saying it's 5.15 volts, 1.31 amps, and it's actually monitoring the amount of amps that have been drawn. So this is telling me how much charge has been put to my phone. Now I'll use something else, I've got a standard micro USB here. I'll get my camera. So this should, in theory, my camera, which I use quite a lot, um, this should, in theory, draw less power than my phone. So let's see if that's the case. It's drawing only 0.14 amps. Oh, it's gone up now. 0.93. Now you know it's there. You know, the amps changed and the volts changed right away. This part in the bottom didn't. There's, I believe there's like 10 of these different sensors. See the number down the bottom right? It's got five. It's not resetting when you put in a new device. It's actually keeping it. So it's taking into account the, the battery that was, the power, sorry, that was taken from my phone. And now it's doing it for my camera. You can see it's charging here. Now, there's only one button on, button on this. It's quite a small device. All of these devices seem to be the, the same kind of size. You know, this one's a little bit bigger. It's basically the size of a USB flash drive, so there's no point in me measuring it for you. You kind of know what that is. Now, try to push this. It's not working just now. Let's see if I can do it. Maybe take this out for a second. Maybe you need to, I think you maybe have to take it out. Oh, I'll turn it on there. Right. It's one five. See if I can change this number. No, that's not working. I maybe need to reset it to get it out. See if I can get this reset. No, that button isn't actually doing anything now. I believe what's supposed to happen is that you've got 10 profiles and you can kind of save them to save the battery in each one. Um, for whatever reason that isn't working, I'm pushing the button. And if you do quick presses, nothing changes. If I hold it down, oh, that changed there. Oh, there you go. Now you can see it's playing catch up now because all the times I've pushed the button, it's flashing. So we'll see, it's still trying to catch up. 
So it looks like it's just a quick wee button press. Yeah, so I was holding it in. So that's back to zero. You can see look, there's profile one with 16 milliamps. So it kind of changes between the profiles. Very, very simple design. You're not going to get as much information as you are compared to some other multimeters. This one, as I said, has got a lot more information. You know, this one tests a lot of different things. I mean, look at all this. It's a lot of information. But, you know, that's good if you need it. But generally speaking, when I'm trying to test a cable or I'm trying to test a power bank or a, U a USB adapter or anything like that, I'm really just trying to check the amps and the voltage and just check that everything is okay. So really, it, it, as good as it is that this has all the extra information, it is you know good to have, you know, just for something quick. I think this is good. I'd like the option to maybe perhaps remove this USB cable, but you know, it's not a deal breaker. So this has been the iPhone for you USB voltage power meter. And again, on the back, this will be sold um, under a lot of different names because it's coming from China. So on the back it's got KCX and it's got KCX-17. So you might see this being sold under a lot of different brands. Looks really good. And as I said before, these things are really, really handy. If you've got a lot of devices, a lot of cables, a lot of USB adapters, I would say that these things are quite essential for checking what's working and what's not because it lets you see exactly how cables are performing and how USB adapters are performing. Thanks for watching guys, if you've got any questions please do leave a comment and as always if you enjoyed the video please do consider subscribing, leaving a comment, sharing the video and liking the video, anything that helps. Till next time guys, thanks for watching.